What's up, listeners? Are you looking for a podcast that's going to encourage you, motivate you, and meditate with you? Look no further. Self Care with Lee is a podcast to encourage you to love yourself, hold yourself accountable, and caring and nurturing for yourself so you can grow and reach your highest potential. I want to be your friend, motivator, and cheer you on. You got this. Here's to Self Care with Lee. Breathe in, breathe out. You are now meditating with Lee. It is important you remember why you started and remember why you must keep going. The good doesn't last, but the bad doesn't either. Being successful is a continuous battle, but you are a warrior and you will come out on top and reach the success that you've worked, battled, and fought for. You will go above and beyond because you are you. You deserve everything you've worked hard for. You got this. Breathe in. Breathe out. What's up, listeners? It's your girl, Lee Morales here, and welcome back. We have been gone MIA for two weeks, okay? I just want to let you know, guys, that I missed you. Let you know that this is all for good reasons why I have been away. You know you are my safe space. You know you're my community, and I feel safe here. So I just wanted to let you know that I know I have been really inconsistent this year. This year has been a learning year. Filled with blessings, but filled with lessons, and I just had to overcome, and I'm trying to get everything on schedule. So I have been promoted at work. (laughs) I am so excited. It was a long time coming, so I just wanted to let y'all know that's why I've been MIA. But not only that, I fought so hard for that, and I'm just so glad that I am where I am. So enough said about me. I missed you guys, so I hope you all are reaching your highest potential. I hope that you all are just not quitting, not giving up, and you're being your biggest advocate. I hope that you are setting your goals, being intentional with your life, and caring for yourself. That's what it's all about here at Self Care with Lee, okay? So I'm rooting for you. I'm cheering for you. I'm so happy to be back. Let's get into it, shall we? So if you're new here, this year has been quite tough. It was a lesson and a blessing, and I'm very happy and grateful of how far I have come this year. I could have gave up, but I didn't. And I want to remind you that self-care is not selfish. The reason being is because there are 12 building blocks of self-care, one being spiritual, two being physical, three being mental, and four being emotional, five intellectual, six is professional, seven is financial, eight is environmental, nine is recreational, 10 is social, 11 is relational, and 12 is cultural. So if you have those 12 building blocks, how can self-care be selfish? Well, let me be the first to remind you that self-care is not selfish. It's for you to build yourself up. If you are fulfilling all 12 of those building blocks for yourself, you are reaching your highest potential. Trust me, it's not easy to be in your spiritual journey. Prepare yourself mentally for things that can go wrong or go left. It's not the easiest thing to be physically able to go to an aerobics class or go to the gym each and every day just so you can be in alignment with yourself. So self-care is not selfish. It's a self task. You have a task to reach all 12 of those building blocks. And if you want to look at it more hierarchical, then look at it that way. Maybe recreational and cultural are at the top of your hierarchy, but at the bottom, you're just building yourself up the pyramid to get yourself to all 12 building blocks. This way, you are able to fulfill all of the things that you need to care for yourself. When things are going bad, you don't even want to think about those building blocks blocks. You just want to get through the day. But a beautiful day begins with a beautiful mindset. And you have to each day 
take into consideration that this is a brand new start, a brand new opportunity to love on yourself, to care for yourself, to build yourself up by getting into your prayers and meditation, get, getting into the gym, being more active and physical with your environment, join a group, be in your community. You need these building blocks so you can reach your next level. You are always destined to go further, living your purpose and reach your highest potential. With these building blocks, they allow you to organize how you're going to get there, how you're going to fulfill all your dreams, how you're going to be your best self. So always think about the building blocks when you're trying to reach a new level, when you're trying to go higher than you ever gone before. You are capable. You just have to do the work. Self-care is a job. So by now you're probably wondering if you're doing a good job at self-care. No worries. We'll be back after a short commercial break. Bye. Are you looking for entertainment and you don't want to watch TV but want to get lost in someone else's story? Look no further. Audible is here. In your free time, you can listen to the latest book releases and now podcast. Storytelling at your convenience. Download Audible today and use my discount code, which is below the link in the summary page of this podcast, and get lost in the story of any genre. I hope you enjoy. Is it time for a new scenery? A vacation, or maybe a home away from home so you can work remotely in any state, country, or city? Look no further, Booking.com has you covered with a wide range of hotels in various locations at an affordable cost. Not breaking the bank, you deserve to get the very best for your buck. Use my Booking.com link below and receive a discount on your next stay today. Au revoir. Welcome back, my listeners, and I know it was getting good, and I think we left off where I said self-care is a job. It's a job because those are 12 building blocks that you can fulfill to reach your next level. It's a job to become your best self, to remember why you started and remember where you are going. In order to do those things, you have to be mindful. You have to walk in a spiritual journey because you have to have faith of a mustard seed to believe that you can push through the barriers and the walls, no matter the circumstances. I want you to know that you're able to reach your highest potential by reaching all of those building blocks. Like I said before, maybe you're someone that needs to look at it as a hierarchical system where you can organize each building block according to which best suits you. But let me let you know that I understand that it can be tough sometimes. I know what it feels like to be complacent and stagnant, not knowing where your next mean is coming from or your next opportunity is coming from. Sometimes you can only see what's in front of you, but I want you to know that if you wake up every morning and be grateful for that breath, that opportunity for a new start, a fresh day, then you can fulfill all all of those building blocks by going out into your community, reading about the resources that best accommodate your situation. I know what it's like to not have any resources or have a lack of understanding what you should do next. But I want you to understand that as long as you have that opportunity to breathe again, that next day you are capable of all things. It takes one stop to the library, one stop to the bookstore to read and research, gain that mindfulness, gain that research, gain those resources that are right there and available to you in your community. You can grow. I promise you that. Your circumstance is just your right now. Doesn't mean that's your forever. You're here for a reason. You are here to walk in your purpose. You are here to identify what best suits you here on this earth. And so with that, you have to wake up every morning with the intention to pursue happiness, pursue mental 
abilities, capabilities to succeed, to be optimistic that your time is coming, to reach your highest potential, you have to have faith. You have to understand that you have to continuously work, continuously build your momentum, continuously believe in yourself after setback, after setback, after setback, continue to keep going. You cannot give up. It's okay not to be okay, but you cannot give up. My intention for you today is to remind you that you have a purpose. You are capable of all things. You are going to reach your highest potential. I am sorry, but if you have listened to me so far over this year, you know that you are growing. You know that we're going to hold you accountable for your actions. You know that your circumstance is not your forever. You are going to grow past it. You are going to go to that next level. You are going to reach those goals. You are going to move forward. You're going to break those barriers. You are going to push through that wall. You're going to break that glass ceiling and the sky they say is the limit, but you can go beyond it. I want you to understand that you are fully capable as long as you have that breath the next day, as long as you have the opportunity to live again, you have the opportunity to grow. We have 24 hours in a day, my guys, you are able to achieve all things that you place your mind on. Pray about it. Build your mental stamina. Go to the gym. Get physical. Find a community that pours into you and pours into your dream just as much as you pour into them. Do not go anywhere half empty. Always go places with a full cup. If that means isolation, that's okay. During that isolation period, I believe I have a podcast on that. Feed yourself knowledge. Feed yourself the nutrition that you need so you can have energy to keep going because you are here for a reason. You are here to reach your highest potential. I am rooting for you. Your community is rooting for you. You are going to make it. You are going to overcome those obstacles that look so challenging right now. It is just for right now. Your next is coming. You're full of potential. You just have to acknowledge it. As always, I'm continuously supporting you. I'm here to be your biggest advocate, your encourager, your motivator. You got this. I want to remind you that self-care is not selfish. Self-care is needed in order for you to reach your highest potential. I am cheering for you. You got this. I believe in you. I just know that you're going to make it. I know that I'm going to be smiling when I receive those emails telling me how far you have come. And it's almost been two years since we've been doing this podcast together, guys. And I know there's some triumph in these stories. I know that somebody out there has a testimony. I know that someone is using these building blocks to get to their next level. And so I am here for it all. I know you got this. I know you can do it. And until next time, here's to self-care with me.